All right, folks, so today we're going to be checking out this, this question as per the request of this guy. Let's go ahead, check them out. ABC, learn with me. All right, folks, let's check out questions number two and three in the 2010 EMC 10A. All right, let's read it. Four identical squares and one rectangle is placed together to form one large square as shown. All right, so that means this, 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 and this are all squares. And the whole thing, this whole thing over here is also a square. The only thing that's a rectangle here is this one, this, uh, this little rectangle right over here. So the question is the length of the rectangle is how many times larger than its width? All right, so how are we gonna do this question? Well, whenever you're tasked with something like this that has no numbers, it's good to introduce pseudo numbers, or as I like to call them, variables. So let's call all of these x, since they all have the same side length. So if these are all x, it stands to reason that this is four x. And since this is a square, this whole thing is a square, that means this also has to be four x, but this is a smaller square, so this has to be x. So 4x minus x, well, that's going to give us a nice 3x for this width. And so now we know that the length is 4x and the width is 3x for this rectangle. And so our ratio is going to be 4 to 3 for a nice choice B. All right, let's move on to question 3. Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone had 97 marbles. Eric had 11. Tyrone gave some of his marbles to Eric so that Tyrone ended up with twice as many marbles as Eric. How many marbles did Tyrone give? All right, so Tyrone's apparently a very nice guy. He had 97 marbles and Eric only had 11. So this guy Tyrone decided to give some of his marbles away. So Eric had some more. How much more? Well, it, the problem tells us. What happened? Well, we know that Tyrone ended up with twice as many marbles as Eric after he gave some away. So we can say that Eric, no, oops, twice as many marbles as Eric is how much Tyrone has. So how much does Eric have? Well, he has 11 plus X, okay? And how much does Tyrone have? He has 97 minus X because he gave some away, right? So our goal is to find how many marbles Tyrone gave, which is X. We wanna find what X is. All right, so let's solve this equation, very nice. 22 plus two X is equal to 97 minus X. So let's see, three X is equal to 75. So it stands to reason that X must be 25 for a nice choice a D, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this episode of AMC 10, AMC 12, Amy, all of that stuff. We'll check you out in the next episode. See you later. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love with math and science. science. All right, folks, so here's the problem we got for today. We have five books and we, we, they have some width. We gotta find the average width of these books. Let's check out the first problem in the 2010 AMC 10A.